Hi kids! Welcome back! For today, we are going to discuss your lesson about the similarities and differences of male and female reproductive system. For our most essential learning competency, compare and contrast of the male and female reproductive system. Let's ignite your curiosity, discover something new, unleashed your inner scientist with Science 5! I am your virtual teacher, Teacher Regine. From our previous lessons, you have learned that Different parts of the male and female reproductive system have their specific functions. But how does these two systems have in common? How about its differences? Let's find out. For our guide questions, Number 1. What are the similarities of the male and female reproductive system? And number 2. What are the differences of the male and female reproductive system. What are the similarities and differences of the male and female reproductive system? This is the male and female reproductive systems. Both were located in the middle part of the lower abdomen of the body. To show the similarities and differences of these two systems, we are going to use a Venn diagram. Let's start with the organ that stores and reproduces reproductive cells. Both male and female can do it. For males, it is stored in the testes, while for females, it is stored in the ovaries. Another similarity of both systems, both of them have reproductive cells. For males, they have sperm cells, while for females, they have egg cells. Both systems reproduce hormones which is responsible for the development of secondary characteristics of each individual. For males, they reproduce testosterone, while for females, they produce estrogen and progesterone. Both systems have passageway of sex cells. A pair of vast difference is the passageway of sperm cells for males, while a pair of fallopian tubes are the passageway of egg cell from the ovary. Both systems are necessary in reproducing an offspring. However, there are also differences for both systems. Let's start with the female. Number 1. Most of the female reproductive parts were located inside the female's body. Number 2. The egg cell stays inside the female's body. Number 3. The female reproductive system bears the unborn child for 9 months. And number 4. The female's body undergo changes as the unborn child continuously develops inside her womb. For the male, number one, the male reproductive system has two visible external parts, and these are scrotum and penis. And number two, the sperm cells are being transported by the penis during the ejaculation process. Did you learn something new in our today's lesson? Good job! I'm so happy to hear that. See you again in our next lesson. This is your virtual teacher, Teacher Regine. See you again in our next one. Bye!